New tonight, Vanderbilt County Clerk Carla Hayden is speaking to us about incidents with voters that she identifies as harassment. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Burke. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Now, the messages she says she's receiving are pushing her to resign from public office before her term is up. Eyewitness News' Ben Walls has the story. It's hard to explain, uh, but a uh, little of those accusations that for some, in some way, some form of fashion that, uh, that the way we're handling the elections is not correct. In Vanderburgh County, we're told voters and so-called election deniers from 2020 are continuing to push County Clerk Carla Hayden. It is letters, it is people coming into the office, it's phone calls, it's things like that. They're all actions which have pushed Hayden to step away from her office. She anticipates to leave by August. I've had people, people who are not happy um, that we don't hand count ballots. People who are not happy that we don't use paper ballots only. We do use paper ballots, but we don't use the type of paper ballot that they want us to use. Some voters are wanting Hayden to release what's called a cast vote record. I can't produce this document even if I wanted to because um, I just I don't have the ability to do so. We have some people who aren't happy with the laws the way they are. We reached out to Henderson County Clerk Renessa Abner and Posey County Clerk Kay Kilgore about their thoughts. They both tell us they haven't received threats. And Dubois County Clerk Amy Kippenbrock is in the same boat. And uh, I can honestly say I haven't felt it personally. I haven't seen it with my staff. Uh, I have a very good relationship with all of our poll workers here in Dubois County, and I don't feel like they have expressed any of those things to me. As for next steps, we're told the Republican Party will caucus to find a replacement to finish Hayden's term. Hayden says she'll retire after leaving public office. I have to leave at the end of the year. I'm term limited. I'm on my second term, and that's as much as the person can serve consecutively. Um, and I didn't think those last four months just were worth it with, their, with the climate going on right now. Reporting in Evansville, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.